Hi, I'm Susan Warden. I'm a NICU nurse and lactation consultant in Mass General Newborn Intensive Care Unit. And today I'm going to um, show you how to use the Medela Symphony Pump. Um, the first thing that you or a mother should do before they pump is put on a glove, take a disinfectant wipe, and wipe the outside of the pump where their hands are going to touch the pump. Throw that away and then wash your hands in the sink by the door. Then you're going to wash your hands this sink. And then the hands will be clean and the pump will be clean. There's a sink here behind me, but as you can see, the uh, sign indicates no hand washing at this sink. This is only for pump parts. Every mother should get a pump uh, ba kit basin and set up in this sink area. Um, water pitcher for her. Uh, literature that um, everyone should uh, provide to the moms and um, that the lactation consultants will review with the moms. Then we're going to set the pump up. And the extra equipment, this is uh, soap to wash the pump parts. The basin that the pump parts get washed in. And now we will set up the pump. There is a um, bag at the front of this that all the extra supplies can go in extra um, discs, a booklet on how to use the pump, and everything can go in there that isn't being used. The kit comes with two size sh breast shields. Number 24, and each shield has the number written on it. And number 27, and as everyone knows in the NICU, we have uh, larger uh, number 30 shields in our supply. Okay, now you're ready to set the pump up. This opens the door. You want to make sure all connections are tight. That's tight. That's tight. You're going to put that cap on. I use the palm of my hand to make sure that it snaps in place. You're going to shut the door because if you turn it on and the door is open, those might um, snap, um, pop off. Shut the door. Put that into the back of the connection. We usually have moms apply a thin smear of lanolin right at the beginning of the tunnel to help decrease friction on the nipple. So the size of the horn um, is very important, or the breast shield, for um, comfort of pumping and efficiency. Um, this would be uh, very tight and painful and cause trauma. You want the nipple moving freely in the tunnel um, without um, pinching or discomfort. Then mom turns the pump on. We have um, two programs on this pump. The first is the initiate program and that is the program that all moms should initiate pumping in the first three to five days. Then there's the maintain program. Um, the mom turns, hits that button, and then that button to go into the initiate program. This program 
lasts 15 minutes, beeps and shuts off. Moms should use this Initiate program until they produce 20 mLs, both bottles combined, 20 mLs times 3, or by day 5. We also find that sometimes on day 4, moms are not draining well on this Initiate Pump program and need to go to the Maintain. When she turns the pump on, there is only one bar of, of uh, suction. This dial controls your suction level. She needs to turn that to the point at which it hurts and then back to comfort. And that's totally individual. There's no magic number. And like I said, this program beeps and shuts off in 15 minutes. So the maintain program, you just push this button and it will go into the maintain program and there are prompts that tell you what program you're in. It's, it starts at three levels of suction and it's um, the stimulation phase that lasts two minutes. After two minutes it goes to um, a, the stronger extraction phase and it will go up three bars of suction. If that's painful, the mom should turn it down to comfort. If it's not painful, she needs to turn it to the point at which it hurts and then back to comfort. Always um, make sure that she understands it should be comfortable, not painful. This program, the Maintain, does not beep and shut off at 15 minutes. Mom needs to pump until her milk stops dripping and for one minute after, but not longer than 30 minutes. While moms are pumping, they need to be using their hands to massage to help with drainage and at the end of pumping to um, completely empty the breast. Milk left behind um, can cause blocked milk ducts and decreased milk supply. So you want to encourage mom to completely empty, but should not pump longer than 30 minutes. So when it, mom's done pumping, You want to make sure she hooks the tubing to the top of the pump so it's not dragging on the dirty floor. She needs to turn the pump on high and blow air through this tubing. This tubing gets a lot of moisture and if that moisture stays in there it will turn to mildew. So she needs to dry the tubing out. It takes one or two minutes while she's washing her pump parts. You just let the tubing dry. Then everything gets pulled apart. The milk gets labeled, dated and timed with the baby's label, and everything gets pulled apart. The yellow, the white disc, everything is washed with hot soap and water, rinsed thoroughly, and placed on the towel to dry. You do not use paper towels to dry. After the mom pumps eight times, she uses this kit eight times, it's time to micro steam sterilize your, the pump parts. The clean parts sorry, get put in this bag with two ounces of water, zip closed, and three minutes in the microwave. This is a steam hole, so do not touch that side. You're going to touch this side, drain the hot water out, come back, and put your parts on a clean towel. There are instructions on um, hanging off of every pump on how to use the initiate and maintain programs, which I described in the video. And on the other side, they're in Spanish. If you have any questions, please direct them to the NICU lactation consultant or your nurse.